How do you build a wall made of bricks? It's quite simple. You lay one brick at a time until it is complete. Easy enough, right? Now, as I said that, most people are immediately overwhelmed thinking about how long it would actually take to build the damn wall. But what if we didn't think about the big picture? What if we just focused on laying that one brick at a time? Does that seem more manageable? Does that make doing it feel and seem all that much easier? Uh, I think so, right? What if instead of thinking about all the work that needs to get done with all these different areas of our life, we instead just focused on that one brick, that one action that we can take today? How many more days would we be willing to show up? How, many, how much more progress would we make in our week, our month, our year? My guess is a lot. Today, we're going to dis uh, discuss the one brick rule. Let's fire it up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's the Bearded Man podcast with your favorite, the world's favorite bearded man, Bob Bay. Each week with these solo podcasts, we dive into topics to help you become the best version of yourself. Now, do I have all the answers? Absolutely not. This is just my bearded wisdom that I hope brings value to you. Now, if you enjoyed this episode at any moment in time, please screenshot this episode on whatever platform you're listening in on, whether it's Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, you name it. Just screenshot it, post it to your IG story, tag me at Bob A. That's B-O, three B's, four A's and a Y. Share out the podcast on your IG story and let me know what was the takeaway? How did this specific episode change your perspective? I'd be very, very curious to know. So please share out the podcast if you get a moment today. Are you looking for an accountability partner? Community, I should say, for 2022? Because the new year is here. Maybe you are someone who is already on the right path, but is constantly looking to meet growth-minded individuals. If that is you, look no further. Earlier this week, I launched my app, Stay Dialed In. I've personally seen the benefit of surrounding myself with like-minded individuals as it has helped me get to where I am today. And it's also helped shape me into the person that I am today that you hear on this mic. What you can expect on this app Notifications to help you reach your inner potential, private podcasts and videos, photos, and a community of people looking to chat with one another within a wide range of topics such as personal development, relationships, careers, health and wellness, mental health, and more. If this sounds of interest to you, please head over to join.staydialedin.com to learn. Once again, that is join.staydialedin.com to learn more. This is going to be an incredible new chapter. We are just getting started. So if it's of interest, sign up, check it out. You can find out more info in the link below in the description of this episode. So please stay dialed in with me all 2022 and sign up today. It's going to be worth it. One brick at a time. I started reading Will, written by Will Smith and Mark Manson, and was immediately pulled into the book, by the opening chapter called The Wall, which is 110% the reason I was inspired to record this podcast episode today. Will goes on to tell the story of how when he was 11 years young, his father put Will and his brother Harry up to the task to build a wall in front of their father's business. Now, they had literally to build this wall one brick at a time until the project was complete. No matter the weather, holidays, days of the week, they had to show up to build the wall. They didn't have any proper tools or resources to build the wall. So what normally would take a crew of guys, you know, a week or two, uh, took them over a year to build. Now, through the experience, Will learns to forget about all the work it's going to take to build the wall and instead learns to focus on just laying one brick at a time. The closing of the chapter ends with Will's father saying to both his sons, now, don't y'all ever tell me there's something you can't do. This becomes one of the most important lessons Will learns in his youth and that he forever carries with him for the rest of his life. He says in the book, the secret to my success is as boring as it is uninspiring. You show up and you lay another brick. He then goes on to say, pissed off? Lay another brick. Bad opening weekend? 
lay another brick. Album sales dropping, get up and lay another brick. Marriage failing, lay another brick. Regardless of the end product, he lays another brick. Now this concept goes hand in hand with the 1% progress per day mindset that I talk about heavily on these episodes. But I gotta say, I think Will's metaphor is easier for people to resonate with. And you might ask why. Well, because we can picture and visualize the feeling of laying one brick. 1% progress per day looks and feels a lot different for everyone. But for us to lay just one brick per day, it feels as if we are all on the same level playing field, right? January is an interesting time of year because everyone is fired up with new goals, new habits they are working towards, new mindsets for the new year, which believe me, I love oh so much. But what makes me nervous is will people stay committed to these goals once the dust has settled of the new year, new me? Will they continue to show up? Will they continue to stick to what they set out to accomplish? I truthfully hope so, because that's what this podcast preaches, baby, on the daily micro steps help us reach our inner potential. Comparing our success to Will Smith is not the move. Why? Because this man has been laying daily bricks for 40 plus years, so he clearly, he is way ahead, and, and he so well deserves the life that he lives. However, that shouldn't hold us back from laying our one brick today. If anything, it should inspire us. Quick break from today's episode, and then we'll get right back to it. Today's episode is brought to you by the greatest hydration brand in the world, Liquid IV. Now, if you're watching visually, I have my three favorite flavors, tangerine, we got watermelon, and we got lemon lime. Now, if you're listening, I want you to picture those flavors in your mouth, on your taste buds, and it literally tastes unbelievable. Not only does it taste unbelievable, it is going to make you feel your best self. This podcast is all about all of us reaching our inner potential. And I think one common theme that you guys and gals are hearing through these episodes is you need to take care of your body and your mind. Liquid IV is something that I use daily. And it's not because I work for the company. It's because I truly believe in the product. This can help you with your physical health, your mental health. I have, I literally use this th for a magnitude of different reasons. Uh, hungover. Uh, pre and post workouts, working from home before I get into these podcasts where I'm talking for long periods of time, I'll drink a liquid IV. It is the greatest product and I am such a big fan. The New Year's here. So many of us have these goals and, our, and targets for our lives. It doesn't even have to be physical health. It could be a magnitude of different things. You're going to want to feel your best self as you are working towards these goals every single day or as we have talked about on this episode, on these podcasts, one brick at a time, 1% at a time. So I don't know what those goals look like, but this is the product you're going to want and need in your life. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates you faster and more efficiently than water alone. I mean, it's unbelievable. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Uh, with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, it's going to fuel you up. It is made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, free of gluten, dairy, and soy. Uh, and I mean, literally, it's just such a great product. What I love about Liquid IV too, it's on a mission to change the world. As of right now, the company has donated over 19 million servings across the globe to all different types of in, all different people that need the product. So, if it's of interest, I would head over to liquidiv.com, use my promo code thebeardman, all one word. It will get you 25% off every single order, and you will love it. I'm telling you right now, head over to liquidiv.com, check out the different flavors. Use my promo code THEBEARDMAN, all one word, for 25% off every order. I recommend watermelon, tangerine, and lemon lime. There is also strawberry, pina colada, uh, a magnitude of different flavors. So don't let my opinion judge you, but I think you're going to want it. So check it out. I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's get, back to, let's get back to today's episode. Five steps to following the one brick rule. Number one, prepare yourself for the day. In order for us to be the best bricklayer the world has seen, we must prepare for the day ahead. We are not going to roll out of bed, mix up some cement, lay the brick, and keep it moving. 
that is sloppy and eventually the wall will collapse because we didn't take the time to pay attention to the details. Before we even attempt to lay that brick on the day, we need to check in with ourselves first. Cross off any items that are musts in your daily routines, whether it's journaling, reading, meditating, working out, whatever it might be, cross it off. What are those daily habits that make you feel your best self and allow you to show up to the world as the greatest version of you? Whatever and however many of them there are, do it. If we're a construction worker, that would mean putting on our durable clothes, our boots, our tool belt, and our hard hat. You need all of them before you are able to step foot onto the job site. Similarly with our lives, we need to make sure we are good to go and ready to step foot into the world by checking off our personal boxes. Once we do that, we are ready to tackle the day ahead of us. So step number one to following the one brick rule, take the time to prepare yourself for the day ahead. Your habits and routines will look a lot different than everyone else. So find the tasks that help you show up to the world as the best version of yourself and stick to them. Number two, adjust due to weather. Rain or shine, snow or tsunami, we still have a job to do, right? Are there going to be days when you feel like shit and don't want to make progress? Yes, of course. But when those days come, Those are going to be the moments that define you the most. The day before I started working on the script of this episode, I had 10 miles on the books for marathon training. I recently caught a flu, cold, which you could probably hear my voice, you know, eight days later. So the thought of running killed me, but I knew that I had a job to do. I cut out excuses. I cut out the chatter in my head of not wanting to do it, and I got to work. It is in our best interest to adjust to whatever weather shows up on our radar because we still have a job to do. Some days the sun will be shining and everything's going to be all good. Others will have hurricane bearded man ripping through that makes us want to give up. Regardless, we show up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We do what we got to do. So step two to following the one brick rule Make necessary adjustments along the way, but never toss in the towel because of the incoming weather. Rain or shine, we must show up to do the work. Number three, lay the brick. Don't overthink it. Don't create some excuse as to why you can't or shouldn't. Just do it. Lay that brick today. Don't worry about the one you need to focus on tomorrow or the day after that or next week. Focus on perfectly laying your one singular brick today. For me, that one brick can be one individual task in different buckets in my life. Physical health, it could be go for a run. Mental health, it could be meditate for 10 minutes. Dieting could be feeding my body healthy foods throughout the day. Podcasting could be lock in an upcoming guest or record a solo podcast like this. Liquid IV work could be just finalizing Q1 planning. Family could be FaceTiming my mother and my father. Not every single day will consist of the same tasks, and some days may have more tasks than others. As long as we are making some progress, that is better than no progress. So step three to following the one brick rule, whether it is one area of your life or a few, do what you need to do today. Lay that brick or focus on whatever aspect of your life is necessary and do what you need to do. Number four, patch up any cracks. As we are laying these daily bricks, it can be smart to analyze the work that we've done and revisit the areas that may need some extra time and attention. See, I'm all about making progress, staying busy, and moving the ball forward. But every once in a while, it is important that we take a moment to assess our progress. If one of our bricks is off, and we continue to lay one brick after another. Eventually, the wall may collapse because of that one brick. Sometimes all we need to do is take five minutes to reassess the work we've done before moving forward. Take the time to check in on your progress over the last week, month, or year, 
because inevitably it will inspire you by seeing all the progress that you've made in this period of time. With that inspiration, it will help you lay that brick that is in front of you today or even tomorrow. Step four to following the one brick rule, take time to patch up any cracks along the way because if not, our wall will crash before we finish. That five minutes of reflection and analyzing our past can and will make a difference in the long haul. And fifth step, finish the job. Will Smith had to show up on days he didn't want to work, on weekends, on holidays, and more. Excuses were not permitted, and he had to finish the job. Now, I'm a big believer of balance and avoiding burnout at all costs. But I'm also a believer in not quitting until the job is done. Whatever your goals are, whatever wall you're trying to build, do not stop until the job is finished. I don't care what the results look like today. I don't care what your peers or family members think about you striving towards whatever it is you're working on. Continue to show up until the job is finished. Kobe Bryant once said, uh, while he was asked, uh, he was smiling after being up 2-0 in the 2009 NBA Finals. He was asked, why aren't you smiling? And he responded, what's there to be happy about? Job's not finished. This man was so dialed in on finishing the job of winning the finals, he didn't want to celebrate until he was 100% complete with the job, even up two games to nothing. He didn't have a smirk or a smile on his face because he was still dialed in to finishing the job. So step five to following the one brick rule, get the job done. Block out the pessimistic inner voice, cancel out any and all distractions, and continue to show up until the job is done. Excuse me. Ooh, my cold is killing me. You can hear it. To recap, when building a brick wall, it is easier to focus on the process of doing it one brick at a time rather than thinking about the big picture. Similarly, when showing up to work on any area of your life, it is best that we look at each bucket as laying one brick at a time instead of thinking about all the work that needs to get done. Five steps to following the one brick rule. Number one, prepare yourself for the day. Take the time to prepare yourself for the day ahead. Your habits and routines will look different than everyone else, but find the ones that help you show up to the world as the best version of yourself and stick to them. Number two, adjust due to weather. Make necessary adjustments along the way, but never toss in the towel because of the incoming weather. Rain or shine, we must show up to do the work. Number three, lay the brick. Maybe it's one area of your life or a few. Do what you need to do today. Lay that brick or focus on whatever aspect of your life is necessary and do what you need to do. Number four, patch up any cracks. Take time to patch up any cracks along the way because if not, our wall will crash before we finish. That five minutes of reflection and analyzing our past can and will make all the difference in the long haul. And number five, finish the job. Get the job done. Block out that pessimistic inner voice, cancel out any and all distractions, and continue to show up until the job is done. Challenge for the listeners. Spend 10 minutes within the next 24 hours and consider what daily bricks you can lay in your life that will make a difference. Don't think about the big picture. Purely focus on the small micro steps that you can take today because they will make a difference in time. Questions from the Stay Dialed In community. We had one question come in from Dev. How detailed are your daily steps? Example, wake up early versus I need to wake up at, five, uh, at 6 a.m., et cetera. That's the difference between winging it and being dialed in, okay? For me, it is all about the details. I create a cow for what I'm supposed to do and when so that everything gets done efficiently. When I wake up, when I eat, meditate, journal, workout, do podcasts, sleep, etc. I allocate certain hours of the day, certain days of the week to complete them. Once it's on the calendar, there is no room for debate. I just do it. The more detailed that we are, 
the more accountable we'll be to our actions. If we don't have it dialed in, what does quote unquote waking up early actually mean? Some days you might feel it's 7 a.m. Some days it might be 6. It's going to change unless you get very specific in the details. We need to be self-aware enough to know that what works best for us is what we need to stick with. And as long as we find what that is, double down on it. An example, Jeff Bezos, he gets up at 5 a.m. every day. Elon Musk gets up around 7 a.m. That's a two-hour difference, right? Both extremely smart and successful people that are leaning into what works for them. I can't tell any of you guys and gals how to live your life. The only person that can figure that out is you. So find what works best for you and double down on it. Pod review of the week. We did not have a pod review of the week. So if you would like to be this week's pod review, the first one of 2022, please head over to the iTunes podcast app, leave a one word, one sentence review, and let me know uh, what you enjoy most about the show. Very helpful to the organic growth of the show. So please do so today. If you enjoyed this specific episode, all that I ask is please screenshot this episode on whatever platform you're listening in on. Post it to your IG story. Tag me at Bob A. That's B-O, three Bs, four A's and a Y. Try the podcast on your IG story. Let me know what was the biggest takeaway. Uh, how did this specific episode change your perspective? I would be oh so curious to know. So please shout the podcast if you get a moment today. If you need help staying dialed in all 2022, head to join.staydialedin.com to learn more about the Stay Dialed In app. It is the app that your phone has wanted and needed, and it is going to be the accountability community to help you reach your goals this year. When the new year, new, new me dust settles and people are over saying it, this is going to be the community that is cheering for you and rooting you on every step of the way, and I will be in the app. So if it's of interest, head over to join.staydialedin.com to learn more. I think you guys and gals are going to like it. That's it. First solo pod of 2022. Let's make this a great year. Small progress every day. Keep putting in the work. Block out any negativity. Cut out the things that don't bring value to your life. And let's make this the best year of our lives. Please and thank you. That is episode 155. Five steps to following the one brick rule. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Bearded Man Podcast. See ya.